Okay, we're going to install a patio door pin lock in this, in this door. Now there's a few things you have to do. First off, you want to get a drill bit that is basically just a hair bigger than the pin that you're installing. So this looks like a 7 seconds is about just, just a hair larger than the pin. We don't need to go overboard. If it's too small, the customer's going to have some problems getting it in and out. So just, just a tad bit bigger will work. All right, so finding a location to drill your hole. You want to look at the jam here. I mean, I'm sorry, the bottom of the door back here. See two things. You see a large screw. And also, if you look inside this hole, which you're not going to be able to see, um, there's actually another screw that holds the frame together. Actually, this, oh, I'm sorry, this big screw holds the frame together. The little screw inside there adjusts the height of the wheels. So, what we're trying to do is avoid both of those screws. Most likely we can go between them or below them. The big thing to remember is just avoid the glass. So I'm going to start drilling here, find a good spot for it. This door, this door has plenty of room for me to go below both of those screws. So that's where I'm going to try to drill. Again, this glass only extends about a quarter of an inch around, but for safety reasons, I would say it extends at least a half an inch. That's just the way I like to view it. So I'm not even anywhere close to that. And of course, I'm going to go as far, as far away from the glass as possible. I just don't even want to get anywhere near that because it's, it will shatter. It's shattered on a lot of our technicians. So just be very, very cautious. You're completely far away from that glass or as far as you can be. So I'm going to start drilling here. Doesn't look like I'm going to hit any screws, fortunately. So I'm just going to go as low as I can below those two screws. Just start drilling. I want to drill all the way through this first slider and all the way into the next one, but only in only through the first layer of the metal on the second one. I don't want to go all the way through or else somebody could be able to push my pin out from the, from the outside, which would kind of defeat the purpose of the pin. So, I'm going to start drilling. Make sure my hole's reasonably level. All right, so actually, went, that was pretty easy. I went through the first door, and I can feel I'm into the second door. So. Let's try this pin, see if it will go in or not. Looks like it will go in. So, next thing, well the first thing, I'm sorry, I skipped a step, I want to make sure this door is closed completely and latched before you start drilling. But, uh, I already knew it was, so we're good there. So the pin looks like it goes all the way through, does go into the second door, not a problem, looks like it's good. So, next thing we're going to do, attach the hanger for it. The easiest way to attach it is getting a really tiny self-tapping screw, something to this effect, something like this. This will make it really easy for the installation. We don't always need to attach this little thing. Basically what it does is it prevents anybody from uh, pushing the pin out from the outside, but if you've done it correctly, you really don't need this. It's just an extra step that... Um, you don't need, we want to drill as little into this door as possible because we don't want to hit the glass. So I'm just going to, just going to get rid of that. We don't need that. Put my self tapper on here, on the hanger. Actually, I'm going to put my, uh, my chain on the screw first. Put my screw in the hanger. Find a good location for this. I don't want to put it up too high where the, where the pin won't go in properly. I don't want to put it too low where the chain's always going to be dragging. So, just put a decent height. Kind of fits both my needs. Alright, I'm going to start drilling again. We want to avoid the glass. Always avoiding the glass. Instead of putting it right here, I'm actually going to put it on the on this little lip right here. Just because I really want to avoid that glass. Little self tapper will make a really easy work out of this. There you go, you're all done. This pin goes in, sits on the hanger, we're all done. That's it.